hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome to chapter 8.4.3 suppressing fire and make a stand path the defenders are going to be captain britain she hulk gwenpool deadpool x domino a very nasty one if i might add and there's going to be thor ragnarok for this path the nodes are suppressing fire make a stand heavy assault Stand still, unblockable specials, and immunity to shock. Now, simply put, your the defenders will have a 90% protection on them, 75% uh, protection on them. If you knock them down, the protection goes into 90 uh, into 15 second cooldown. Also, with suppressing fire, they also have attackers' defensive ability accuracy is reduced by 90% unless the defender is suffering from a suppression or a passive. Then to apply that, you can uh, apply in incendiary debuff on the opponent. So you get a 15 second 5% suppression with every incendiary you apply. So knowing that we the incendiary champs will work, uh, I would say make sure that you bring in one to two tech incendiary champions that can deal with that domino. She is going to be the most annoying one on this path. Relics uh, are not required, but uh, if you bring in, they will be quite helpful for this path, um, especially with the stuns you you will be needing against these um, against these defenders because of suppress, suppressing fire, ninety percent reduce ability accuracy. So you will really need those uh, stuns from the relics. And the cheese option for this path is going to be the synergy between Domino and Red Hulk. Just get that and parry and heavy, parry and heavy because there is also heavy assault so your heavy attack damage increased by 500 percent so she makes very short work of everybody your boosts and masteries uh, the regular ones you can run ouchies and non ouchies although i would say run ouchies for this so you can finish off the path faster the boss is going to be anima frost one of the more difficult and annoying bosses for 8.4 we will discuss on them later in the video so let's jump into it and check it out The first fight is going to be against a Captain Britain. I'm going to use a Kushala here. Now the whole point for me here is to build up those uh, incinerate charges and then throw my SP1 so with the in nullify I can get those incinerates on those ignite uh, charges. Uh, Captain Britain, SP2, SP1 both are available and especially I'm running a Kushala so the unblockable I can easily block. Now another problem here is if you dex a lot of if you dex a lot of instances from the opponent like seven of them, uh, the opponent will get unstoppable. So Kushala works really well because she can block unblockables. So I don't have to dex back every time uh, every time Captain Return throws an SP1, and SP2 is quite easily available. So keep an eye on those extra furies, the passive ones that the opponents get, and make sure when it's uh, seven, remember it he, they will go unstoppable. Now, having said that, this path is all about uh, knocking down the opponent, removing that protection, and then using a heavy attack while the incinerate is active. Because once you knock down, the maker stand is removed, and then when you use a heavy attack, there is 500% extra damage. So use that to your advantage. And the good thing about Kushala is for every blessing she activates, the ability accuracy of her parry goes back up. So this ability accuracy 90% reduction kushala can bypass it if she has uh, her blessings up but yeah she's an amazing chef on this path and there goes captain britain Now next up is going to be a She-Hulk. I am going to use my Ascended Domino with Red Hulk Synergy. Now if you have Domino, you don't need to go any other champion. Just bring Domino with the Trinity, with Masakre and the Red Hulk and use your Parry and Heavy. You have to wait for the first incendiary to apply because before that your ability accuracy will be reduced by 90% so you might not be able to stun. So wait the first one out and then it's, it's then it's much easier to control the fight. Just parry and heavy, parry and heavy, let the incinerate do all the damage and whenever you have a SP2 ready you can throw it out and yeah and you can do quite a bit of damage. So right there with an incinerate and a heavy attack into an SP3 that will do a considerable amount of damage. 
So Domino with Red Hook Synergy is like the best bet for this patch. They can take out the whole path and you just need to revive 20% and you can get through it. Even that nasty Domino can be controlled by um, can be controlled by Domino and Red Hook Synergy. It might cost you one or two revives, but by far the easiest one. Now, usually Incendiary Champions are very easy to come by, but the defender combinations with the node combination, it, it, it's a bit difficult to plan for that team. Uh, you need techs and then you need uh, mutants as well so be very careful and deliberate when you make your team and remember to have a champion that can apply incinerate so that will help you clear off the path faster Fight number three is going to be against a Gwenpool, so just parry and heavy. If one of your heavy crits, that is a lot of damage. Look at that. Look at her dying. So yeah, you just parry and heavy, especially when you have the incinerate up. Your ability accuracy is not uh, being reduced. It's a pretty fun and simple fight for Domino, the whole path actually. Next up is going to be a Deadpool X Force. Um, same concept here as well. Um, try to get some incinerates up because that will help you parry the opponent. And remember, the specials are unblockable, so try to keep him to an SP1 only. That will be easy for everyone. Otherwise, the SP2 can be really annoying and can deal a lot of damage while he is unblockable. So, right here, we used uh, up nullifies, and there is. Uh, enough incinerates and because I'm using Koshala I can block the unblockable specials now making sure all the incinerates are up now I can use my heavy attacks and that will do extra damage anyway because of 500% extra damage the reason we apply incinerates is to be we don't want our ability accuracy to be reduced by 90% and the parries and the stuns they fail so this is how slowly we play it along here we go Always with Kushala, keep the blue blessing up so you can uh, uh, go ahead and tank the specials, uh, the unblockable ones. And uh, yeah, other than that, just apply those incinerates with SP1 spam. And then if you can sneak in a heavy attack for extra damage, that will really help.
Next up is going to be probably one of the nastiest fights of 8.4. There are quite a few in different um, in different chapters. So for 8.3, this domino definitely takes the cake. So, but you have to bring in a tech champion because if you bring in a non-tech champion, she throws a special at you, and you are unlucky. Your dexterity will face, and you will hit. You will catch it on your face. So having said that, bring in tech champions. I brought in my Iron Heart because I don't have a good champion that applies incinerate. So I just brought in Iron Heart. She literally applies incinerate on every hit. But I don't know her kit, so I was just sticking to Domino throwing her SP2 out, and I'm just going in whenever I get a striker, I land a heavy attack for that extra 500 percent damage, and then just play regularly with Iron Heart. Just there with the striker and Heavy attack into a special. So yeah, you have to play this fight slowly. I am not able to kill Domino in one go. I think I died at 10-15%. I had to bring back uh, Domino or Kushala to kill her off. So pretty annoying uh, fight. Yeah, even if you do everything right, somehow you're gonna be get clipped and you're gonna die on here. So make sure you have enough champions to go through this fight. Uh, Domino Red Hook also work, but you will have to do a lot of parries. Once you have the first incinerate up, then it's going to be easy. But for the first incinerate, it would be hard for um, running Domino and Red Hook synergy. So be wary about that. And the final defender is going to be a Thor Ragnarok. Pretty straightforward fight. I'm just going to use my Domino Trinity to take him out. Uh, other champions will work as well. Uh, just be careful about his power gain when after 20 hits. Make sure you have a special attack ready. And you can throw that out and stop his power gain. Apart from that, pretty straightforward and easy fight. A very quick takedown by Domino. Just parry and heavy. And all that incinerate damage will keep getting uh, will keep getting in make sure that you keep knocking down to remove the protection and you should be good The boss is going to be an Emma Frost. She is quite an annoying boss to deal with, especially with immunity to armor break and also reverse controls. Uh, she is one heck of a boss to deal around with. But luckily, I have a Juggernaut. Juggernaut is immune to reverse controls and he's all physical damage. There's a node here that is a high energy diet, so you have to avoid any kind of energy champions, otherwise, she will start gaining power and she will not take any damage because the damage is reduced by 99% for energy based damages. So bring in your biggest and the fattest physical uh, damage champion and use that 
and if they have psychic immunity or like reverse control immunity it would be amazing now juggernaut is one of them you don't need any kind of uh, synergy with them but you can also use uh, you can also use hulk and with the synergy with overseer or overseer with hulk synergy that can also work really well because they will go immune and they are very good physical uh, damage champions another champion that you can use that is going to be a cheese but it will take long is uh, ebony maw because of bubble weave node just stand there let her hit in your block and let her degen out you can do some household chore in the meanwhile because it will take like 20 to 25 minutes for emma frost to degen herself down so yeah scorpion is another option make sure that you activate the ruptures before you go in and he should work great as well and also with the Fantman, uh, the more it disintegrates the more armors up are there the more damage you will do but by far juggernaut and uh, hulk are the best options along with a long one with ebony Maw. thanks for joining in and i'll see you on the next one bye